Shotgun snap to Seager. Left-handed quarterback rolls left, tries to create room, has Calhoun in the middle no. of the field all the way himself. 25, he hurdles over one for 20, down to the 15, breaks another tackle to the 10, the oh. 5, and fumbles maybe out of bounds. Did it hit the pylon or did it go out of bounds? Oh, they call it a touchback. touchback. Oh, man. Wow. How about that play from our game of the week? It took an extra day, but your Friday night blitz matchup featuring Creekside and Bartram Trail, and you heard it live on ESPN 690 with Brent Martineau and Kevin Sullivan. Shifting schedules are nothing new when it comes to high school football around these parts. That's a big reason why we said subject to change for our game of the week schedule for the upcoming year. For instance, next week, well, it was going to be Lee at Reball, but that game has been moved to a Thursday in October. So we'll be updating that schedule in the coming days. As for tonight's game, let's take a look. <laughs> Creekside, Bartram Trail, not in your average kickoff time for this battle of St. Johns County. The Knights making that short ride over to the Bears home field. Opening kickoff, 6 p.m. Bartram Trail leading this game within 15 seconds. A.J. Jones takes the kick return all the way the other way. Just like that, the Bears are on the board. Not the way Creekside wanted to get this thing started in hostile territory, but Mr. Jones not done. In fact, only getting started. Still in the first quarter, following a night's turnover, Jones walks it in for his second score of the game. Bears up 14-0, just like that. Second quarter we go. Bartram in complete control. Running back Eric Weatherly gets the ball, takes off to the right, hesitates, then tiptoes his way into the end zone. 21-0 at the half. Creekside made it a game, but the Bears hold on 28-14. Here's Action Sports Jack's Brent Martineau with a victorious head coach Daryl Sutherland. Bartram Trail gets the win over Creekside 28 to 14 in our Action Sports Shacks game of the week on ESPN 690. Daryl Sutherland, the coach of Bartram Trail. Hey, you know what? As a coach, you preach special teams, special teams. How much right. do you practice it? Well, you let off the game with a 90 yard kickoff return. You kind of close out the game with a block punt and a return for a touchdown. Right. Special teams wins the day. Right. I tell you, our special teams coordinator, Paul Belsick, does an awesome job of putting guys in the right places. But it really comes down to that during the week, those guys practice their tails off on the technique things that, that make those schemes work. And they did a really nice job with that tonight. How important to get this game in for your kids, for the families, for this, this St. Johns County, this area, Creekside, three and a half miles away. Right. Uh, you had to move it to Saturday night, but it looked like it was worth it. Well, it's huge. You know, our, our administration, Ben Winler, our AD, and Chris Phelps, our principal, the fact that they, they rallied behind this. And just we've got such a great community, both groups. Uh, and so to, to come and, and spend a Saturday night out here in a great atmosphere, uh, really, you know, a special event. You guys did well in all three phases, made some big plays on offense, but that defense continues to impress. You're pretty happy with where they're at? They're, they're doing a great job. You know, that's uh, they, uh, another thing where they practice like that. You know, those guys, they, they take pride in trying to take the ball away during practice and really getting 11 guys to the football, and it shows up on game night. All right, next up, Mandarin, the state champs. Your schedule's not easy at all, but right. uh, is there something about playing the state champions in Mandarin and Carson Beck, guy that's highly recruited in that program next sure, week? Sure, they, they do a great job, and that's one of the things, you know, every week we're trying to schedule games like that. And, uh, you know, Creekside's a very good football team. They're going to win a lot of games this season. And uh, so every week we want a big game, a big opponent like that, because we want to teach our guys to rise to challenges. Well, you got it next week here against Mandarin, the state champs, and uh, you're in a loaded district. I don't have to tell you that. You know it. Congratulations. Good win over Creekside Saturday night. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, 28 to 14. Bartram Trail gets it done. Back to you. Thank you, Brent. The Columbia Tigers among the best in the state right now. AA Christian Academy was no match for the boys from Lake City. First Tigers play from scrimmage. Jordan Smith to Jaden Williams doesn't get much easier than that in for six. Following an AA Christian Academy three and out, the second Tigers offensive snap, you know where it's going. Smith to his buddy Marquez Bell. Two plays, two scores for the good guys. Visitors punting again. This time, Bell eluding all would-be tacklers off to the races. 20-0 before some fans even arrived. By the way, the third offensive play also went for a touchdown. Score as many as you'd like kind of night, and Columbia did just that. They win big, too big to say on this broadcast. It was, it was bad. Bishop Snyder also going west, taking on. Oak Hall in Gainesville, second quarter, Cardinals down 12 0. Third and 17, I John Richardson deep for Trey Williams, gets by the Eagles defense and gone for an 80 yard touchdown. Bishop Snyder down just 12 8 after a two point conversion. But that is as close as they would get as Oak Hall scores the next 32. But ignore that. <laughs> Heartbreaking loss for Trinity Christian last night against fellow state power of Venice after missing that field goal at the end of regulation. The Indians in double OT score on fourth down. Then they go for two and win, beating the Conquerors 50 to 49 in a thriller. 
How about some Monday night football Jacksonville style? Four games are on the schedule. Oakleaf at Ridgeview and a Clay County showdown. Up the road in Duval, it'll be 2-0 Baldwin at 2-0 Westside. Meanwhile, Cedar Creek pays a visit to Paxson and Hilliard heads to Episcopal. All those games Monday night at 6 p.m. The next Friday night blitz, well, it's Friday. We'll have all your highlights once again and a yet to be named game of the week. Stay tuned. We will let you know that information shortly. Some big games on the schedule, including that one that Brent mentioned, Bartram Trail and Mandarin District game this Friday night. Good stuff.